Hey guys, today we're crafting. I'm sure we'll be using glitter. Maybe we'll do some painting. Do these colors suit me? Hmm. Should we do some pop art? I don't know what we're gonna craft today, but let's get started. What the gnome is going on, guys? Today we're gonna make our second jar gnome. So the first thing you need besides the jar is a toilet paper roll, which I cut in half, and then I slid it down the side after it was cut in half. So, and then we're gonna put it around there because it's easier to put the sock and everything glued onto the paper instead of that tiny little jar um, lip. So once we got our paper on, I actually ended up trimming it a little bit so it wouldn't stick in the sock. Get a sock that you like and stuff it. I'm actually going to put a pom-pom on mine, so I'm going to cut it. Okay, so I put a little stuffing in the center, turned my sock inside out, and put a rubber band after I cut it at the heel. And now we're just going to turn it back inside, the right side up, and put a pom-pom. So we turned our hat back the right way, just glued on a pom-pom, put some stuffing, uh, put some stuffing in the middle, find what hair you want to use, and then we're going to glue the hat like halfway on the lid in the back and then leave the front so we could put the beard. I'll show you. All right, so I glued the hat just around the um, back of the lid, then I glued to the front lid, the beard, and now we're gonna pull the hat down once we find his nose. And this should all work out. Make sure you don't go over so you can't screw your jar in because it needs to be on top of the jar. Hopefully this will all work out. Let's see, guys. Okay, guys, so here it is. Unfortunately, I could only use a pom-pom because the jar was so wide that the sock almost didn't fit. So, uh, unfortunately, he has this color nose. Yeah, unless I wanted a bright pink one. And if I knew this, I would have used a different color beard. But it is what it is. So now we're going to decorate uh, it a little and hope that it looks better like the nose pops. Let's see. <laughs> So guys, there she is. Basically, I gave her a broom. Oh, what I did because I just thought the nose was like so... I hated the nose. I was going to scrap the whole thing. But then what I did was just take a piece of um, black yarn and put it around to, and pop the nose out a little more. I put a bow there. I put a whole bunch of gems and a little heart. And I just glued the hat so it stayed down a little because I decided it was going to be a witch. And I put that broom on the hat, which is the, the lid part. And then I put um, the little cat. And that's it. Now watch, guys. All of this is attached to the lid. So we're going to take it off. Hold on. I'm going to show you. So, yeah, there you go. That is it. Everything's attached to here. Her. And then you just put the lid on and screw it. And there you go. Your little jar gnome. It worked out pretty well, actually. If I do say so myself. <laughs> Once I put the broom in the cat, I actually just loved her as a little witchy. So, you guys let me know down in the comments what you think of this one. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going away now. <laughs> Much love to you guys. And we'll see you on the next adventure.